Larry Bird, who had 21 rebounds Wednesday night. So Henderson crashing the boards is Kevin McHale, and they're going to call the foul on the Lakers. Now, that was a good substitution by Casey Jones. He's the first one to go to the bench. And uh, with this heat, the big guys in the Celtics might get tired quickly. Danny Ainge has come into the ball game, replacing Gerald Henderson. Here we see a real up quick a pace move by Henderson. But watch McHale. That's what he does best. Get on that board on the fast break before you can block him out. Each team has four team fouls. So the penalty will come with five as McHale hits the free throw. Kevin McHale has struggled offensively since game one when he scored 25 points to lead the Celtics. He makes them both, but as we showed you, Danny Ainge, number 44, is into the ball game. He's played a big role in the two Boston wins, and with Scott Wedman out of there, he's got to play of more time in this game. Here's Cooper, penetrated. Worthy. Over Dennis Johnson. Kareem. Rambis and Kareem finally tips it in as the Lakers give the Celtics a dose of their own medicine with their offensive rebound. And they got a little physical themselves that time the Lakers came right over the top for an excellent rebound. Bird. And once again, Larry Bird used his muscle against Cooper inside, as we pointed out. Kareem comes right back. Blocked by Paris. And Danny Ainge is back. He's quick. And a foul is called. And now they're saying that it's against the Boston Celtics. It was Earl Straub who made the call on Kevin McHale. I tell you, I've seen some elbows flash out by both teams. Here comes McHale. And what uh, Rambis is trying to do is bump any of the Celtics from going into that low post. That looked like an even Steven proposition to me. Tommy, I don't think either of these teams are going into a shell in this game. Nope. Kareem. Sky hooks. Bird. As Rambis and McHale get tied up, we'll watch that matchup. Here's Dennis Johnson again. Three for four for Dennis Johnson. And it's 20 to 18. The Laker lead is cut to two with 4-10 remaining in the first period. Here's Michael Cooper over Danny Ainge. Larry Bird wins the fight. Ainge. And the Celtics trying to set it up. And an offensive foul has been called. We're going to take a look at McHale and Rambis going at each other. There's what you call blocking out. McHale trying to create room for himself to get a rebound and wraps himself around Rambis. Meanwhile, Larry Bird has been hit with his second personal foul. The Celtics have turned the ball over six times. Lakers only once. Kareem goes in against Paris. Another rebound for Larry Bird. He already has six. Here's F. Johnson feeding Paris. And Paris had a great pass that he didn't hold on to. And now they'll call Danny Ainge. This is a rough and tumble game, make no mistake about it, and it's happening all over the floor, Tom. Well, both teams are, are going at each other. Whenever you get near the basket, they're really starting to flash elbows, hit with bodies. So, uh, Pat Riley said they're going to try and run away from them. It looks like they're going out for the 10-rounder or the 15-round championship here with both all gloves on. Pat Riley, who has won a world championship two years ago, Native of Schenectady, New York, and a star at the University of Kentucky. His father was a pitcher in the Philadelphia Phillies farm system. So it's an athletic family. Ainge battling Jamal Wilkes, who's coming the game for the rebound. As Pat Riley told Tommy Heinsohn, he's going to go deep into his bench to the likes of Wilkes and McGee. Bob McAdoo is into the game as well. McAdoo, a scorer from close range last touch by the Celtics Lakers ball and five seconds show on the 24 second clock as Wilkes will inbound I think Kareem is getting a little tired the heat is starting to take its toll on Kareem he's 37 years old Dennis Johnson on the rebound on a rare Kareem perimeter shot under three minutes to go first period here's Paris Bird the rebound And 
the Celtics have come within one point. Lakers had it up to six, and now Patrick Johnson wants a timeout. Standing ovation here at the Garden for the Celtics. And what a game they have. He uses muscle against Cooper inside, Tom. But watch Mikhail bump with McAdoo. They're giving no quarter. And inside Larry Bird, number 33, Cooper turns him loose. They want him on the boards. And he's burning up Cooper on the offensive board. Last game, he had something like 12 to 1 on the offensive board. Now the Celtics are out rebounding the Lakers, but the Lakers have the edge in offensive rebounds. 3 to 1, which is unusual since the Celtics have a resounding domination in that department. So Jamal Wilkes is in it forward, as he has, has been, with Bob McAdoo, Kareem the center. McAdoo hits the shot outside. Bob McAdoo, who's the Lakers' prime scorer off the bench and has shot very well in the series since an ice cold game number one. 2.22 to go, first period. Lakers by three. Celtics have come within a point a couple of times. Nine on the shot clock. McHale setting a screen. Wilkes fighting through it. Four on the shot clock. Dennis Johnson. Larry Bird gets an offensive rebound for the Celtics and converts. and eight rebounds for Larry Bird who has been the Celtic high scorer at over 27 points a game in the series McAdoo Kareem and McHale and the Celtics can take their first lead in the ball game here Johnson the Boston Celtics have the lead 24 to 23 and the Lakers turn it back over. And Mike McGee, who Tommy mentioned was going to see action, has come in along with Swen Nader. Swen Nader and McGee replace Cooper and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. There is McGee, who's a defensive hound and the third highest shooter field goal percentage-wise in the league this year. Dennis Johnson misses. Dennis Johnson and Larry Bird each with eight to lead Boston. Worthy has seven to lead the Lakers. Worthy right now is on the bench. Here's McAdoo. Tough to stop that shot. And McHale doesn't stop him. He fouls him. McAdoo is so tough from playing out uh, with the Buffalo Braves years ago. Coming up on the fast break, shooting the trailer shots, the long outside shots. He's just remarkable from out there. The Celtics have been successful for a couple of games. Taken away from him, making him put it on the floor, but he's getting open tonight. One of the six teams he has been in his career, Bob McAdoo, as he tangles with Kevin McHale. Watch this battle go on. McAdoo knows he's got his hands full with McHale. Look at them holding each other. And there's no... I don't think they're going to be friends by the time this series is over. So Bob McAdoo, who did not play in the championship series because of an injury last year. Wynn Buckner has come in for the Boston Celtics. Backup point guard can set the tempo and pretty good defensive player former defensive halfback was a football player at Indiana but his big moments came when he played for Bobby Knight Ainge given the shot outside McAdoo has position and with 43 seconds to go in the first period the Lakers have the ball and have a one-point lead